Hello my friends, it's episode 99, we're off to kill the Commissar. Although I've just noticed that there's a guy here with wings. Like... That's kind of weird. Keep your wits about you. Okay. Ken Morak. I always keep my options open. I'll learn from this mistake. Will you now? <clears throat> okay. So, what is also weird, other than the bug that got me all my equipment back, it's that, um... All those weird skill drains that are on my main character have disappeared as well. Oh, <clears throat> I missed I some loot. Have a backup plan. I just hope that the game doesn't break now. Is there money to be made? Right, let's go and see if the Commissar is here. I can put him in a dumpster. You will not hide from me. Maleficent and Xenos have already tried to come in your ear, yet his efforts were for naught. The Emperor protects. Traitor, you contend them to death. You lied to us, and now I have come to exact retribution. Oh, Star Sign is the best character for this action, even though he's not here. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh well, I'm gonna do it. As you will, she sighs grimly, and glares at the commissar and says conviction. We're not finished here, Inko Sotni. This is not a pardon, merely a sentence stayed. Not at mass. It was not our intention to kill him. The Viper is surprisingly hard to kill. He's chock full of life support augmentics. I figured a new pet would be a nice bonus to claiming victory and having the den back. Just there, Aim, what about their close combat skills? Let me out, make me suffer. Pit me against three of yours, five of yours unarmed. Good entertainment for your people, is it not? Either let him go or execute him, I abhor torture. You suggest that we let him die after all that he has done, after condemning so many of our own to death for the ungodly pleasures of Xenos? I got nothing to hide. There can be no followables in disciplinary officers past and present. You seem surprised. You're the rogue trader here. You're the one whose former life is sweeter than this one. For a commoner like me, our beloved Imperium is just as much of a deadly, treacherous, deceitful place where everyone wants to use you and kill you. The only difference here is nobody demands that you jump for joy about the way things are. Who are you really? I was born in a hive suffocating from overpopulation. And I did my whole life was just to survive. You want to know who I serve or who I believe in? Me and myself, no one else. Maybe you meant to ask what my calling is. That would have been an interesting question indeed. I may be an artist at heart. They're forming an Astra Militarum regiment on my planet. Thousands of morons bought the Commissar's 
gross shit about Russians and glorious duty in protecting the Imperium. I wasn't one of them, of course, however, it soon turned out that those thousands of volunteers weren't enough. That's when the plant's governor conscripted the entire population of 17 hive levels. Everyone who was of age. That's when they left us to die at the hands of the Dukari. Care to find out? Let's see if they believe they're rolling arms to promise an expeditious escape or a highborn loud mouth with a concrete plan. Without a concrete plan. Yes, yes, you got me. I'm going to make it. Just keep it down with you. Just trying to be useful. The witch cult, the fatal thirst, enjoys the little show. But on killings don't amuse them all that much. They want something more flavorful. I happened to find myself in the arena and did whatever I could to survive, and I entertained the audience quite a bit. One of the richest terrors that took notice of me, she found me and said I could serve them either with my brains or my charisma or with my blood and guts. Except Drizzia seems to have forgotten all about me. With malice have dared to make a move if she hadn't, she must have grown bored sooner or later. He robbed me of what I was mine. When that scaled freak realized I'd been left without a patron, he brought his gang to my den, this den, and took it away in my arena portal with it. And then he went on to grazing on my pastures and snatching new arrivals who were supposed to be mine. She's dead, I killed her. <laughs> Though the same can't be said of her high handed manner and her habit of using sharp objects to bring fun to any conversation. Is that a problem? You're not going to know. Kill me, are you? That would be most unwise. Mouse used to be the one who could get you things to survive, but now I've taken it. If you kill me, who will supply you with good weapons, stimulants, armor? How about a deal? Take part in my show and I give you access to the stores of the resistance. Just keep your mouth shut and finger off the trigger. Sorry, time to die. I'll make an example out of you. Show them no mercy. through my own characters, can't I? Uh... Oh, I've got a star sign in my party. How the hell did that happen? When the hell did that happen? What on earth is going on with this game? Was he in my party when I loaded? Oh man, he's not, like, built for anything. Except to win persuasion checks. What the hell? Okay.
suppose I can at least pass the turn to someone else. On it. It's as good as done. Let's make some opportunities. I'll make profitable I'll new kings of enemies. I'll make it happen. The blood! How the hell did Star Sign get in my party? This is really weird. Was he there when I loaded? Oh man, this is bizarre. Okay, fine. I have no idea what's going on anymore. It's some kind of weird bug that's leading to more weirdness. I'll see to it personally. Start stacking exploits on him. <sighs> if I must. I am not your Xenos, Pat! I am not your Xenos, I knew she was going to say that. This tedium is beneath me. Understand your intent. Ah, uh, yes. Don't cry for me, Sister Faith Argenta. Deeds is worthless. That was some kind of sad damage. For the weak, guided by faith, it's gonna take a little bit for her to get going. This is why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands, I act. Hang on, we got three shots at ten to fourteen each. Eight shots at four to six each, plus the bonuses for using a heavy weapon. I should probably stick to this because it's uh, it's building up my fired up. I'll do it. For you, my emperor. This is why I was chosen. Nearly. As the emperor commands, I act. My way. Hold on. My place is at the fall. My place is in your face. Victory is imminent. I will do my duty. It will be done. Moving out. Nothing. Stay vigilant. A mere pain won't stop me. All too easy. Nothing I can't do. I'll pass. Unavailable, but why?
weirdly, it's like not. I don't have time for this. <clears throat> he doesn't. Uh, his attacks are not rendering. I'll do it. <laughs> for you, my emperor. Suits my purposes. I can't stand it. I'll do what it takes. I'm enraged. My faith strengthens me. Kemorak. Weapon at the ready. I'm sorry. Break their morale. Uh, I don't know. I think he might. It's as good as done. Guy that's in my face. Never a chance. I'll see to it personally. I right, set the commissar on fire and then orchestrate flames so that he just burns forever. That might also be helpful. That's a nice shot. If it serves your cause. Let's go, Eutrophile. Fortune favors the swift. <sighs> if I must. Damn it. This tedium is beneath me. Locked on. I forgot she doesn't have her magic. Uh, I, I, you know, I was having a bit of like a brain melt. She doesn't have her magic casing. That means that uh, her single target shots always hit. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Catch. Gotcha. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. It's like... Definitely something weird going on with this game now. Indeed. Reduced to dust. At your back and call. Follow my lead. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Hobbadum dum. 
Man, it's Star Sign that has high momentum. Not a problem for me. Nothing I can't do. Suits my purposes. Power resides in the will of the righteous. Get that gun reloaded. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Thank you, my Emperor. Oh, what happened to the high momentum? Forge ahead! Nothing I can't do. Let's get to it! I can do this. Touch me! Quick, Emperor, protect quick. me! I've faced worse than this. Just a minor setback. Stay vigilant. My faith shields me. Laser beam. You will fall before my might. Now that got the job done. I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. Hi, momentum. She is slowly killing him. Like, not even slowly, she's kicking his ass. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. If it serves your cause. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. I'll deal death with uh -huh. my hands. I understand your intent. With the thrill of battle. Did that miss? Because it's not supposed to be able to miss. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Is my emperor. This none oh. can escape the Emperor's oh. judgment. None. Just for the weak. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. And Argenta is a nun, so she can As escape. The Emperor commands, I act. Okay, I just did that for the uh, versatility. I'll do it. Oh. You, my Emperor. Strengthens me. Does it now? Let's see how much it strengthens you when Abelard goes charging in there. I will do my duty at your beck and call. Victory is imminent. All right, now they're all in check. <sighs> uh, 
This guy is not really uh, designed for combat. Not my specialty. Faith without deeds is worthless. It's out of range. Irritatingly out of range. I'll do it. Laz rifle it is. Weapon at the ready. My reckoning will be swift. Break them around. Don't let your guard down. Your end was inevitable. Immolated. I'll see to it personally. <laughs> Marked for purge by Hendrix. For some reason. Hendrix is not in this fight, but we've seen that a few times too. Serves your cause. Another solid hit. I will not. Precision attack commencing. Thought you could do with a warning. Ah, auto only. This tedium is beneath me. I have to reload at some point. As the Emperor commands, I ask each strike is a prayer. I'll do it. She's getting there. Who's left? Doubt is for the weak. That's our second stack of revel in the slaughter, isn't it? It's amazing how, after a few turns, how powerful she becomes. Look at her skills climbing. Turn again. Faith without deep none can escape the Emperor's judgment. Okay, now what? Alive again. Oh. 
Resistance fighters are looking at you with a mixture of fear and deep respect. Something you must know, the man who calls himself the Commissar is a traitor and accomplice of the Xenos. His promises of escape were nothing but lies. Then there is no hope. We are doomed to remain captives of the Xenos, but a clean death is a far better face by far. May we beg your lordship to grant us the Emperor's peace. In the name of the Emperor, I, Edmund von Valencius, give you my word that we will lead you out of this place. <laughs> Do you wish to repent, traitor? <laughs> uh, uh, he was a he was a dirtbag right from the beginning. The glory of his deeds and the good of humanity in the name of the God Emperor sentence you to death. Carry out your, their sentence immediately. until they exploded. There's everything we found is dead. We searched all that slides into secret caches and stashes. What's in the arsenal? Gladiator's healing kit. Skin patch removes one trauma. Serrated glimmer steel blade. Okay, some gear. Wait a minute, now... Now Ramgar's in my party. When did he join the party? When did Starsign join the party? What is going on with this game? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, he's not even got a weapon. He's not even, like, he's just completely not designed to do battles at all. Alright, well, I guess it's better than a kick in the face. Um, I'd rather not.
Oh, it's a med kit she can use. That's interesting. This is a good one for her. As she is the sharpshooter. The Ripper might be slightly better than the Heavy Stubber. But... Uh, the problem is it needs reloading way more regularly. Oh, fellowship armor. Another one. This would actually be useful for Star Sign. Except he can't wear heavy armor, but maybe very shortly he can wear heavy armor. Go with characteristic training strength. Fellowship is already maxed out. This was a stack character, so I'm not going to change him just for this section of the game. I think I, I can just leave him as he is and he'll be fine. Already got base skill commerce. Has he got advanced skill commerce? Yep. What else might he be good at? Coercion. Go with base skill coercion because whatever. Strength, commerce, because I can't get persuasion. All right, now I can get heavy armor. There we go, heavy armor proficiency. Cool. Gives him a bit more fellowship to play with, so when he gets back to piloting the ship, he'll be even better. Extremely bizarrely, his health is not full, which is also weird. Where are all my characters gone? You came back from the dark, Ellen Tark? Unharmed. I want to know you what you did. You asking why? How could I have trusted a monkey, Ellen Tark? After Muaran told me that it was your kind that had attacked Kruderok. After I glimpsed a piece of Kruderok in your chambers. I saw that monkey hearts were full of hatred for me and my kin. And I saw how indifferent you were to the troubles of my kind. What else was I to do? Of the two sorrows, I chose the one that was closer to my blood. Which is why I tried to find my dark cousin on the day he attacked Dargonus. I used the commotion to slip away unnoticed, and wandered the streets like a shadow in search of its owner. 
my efforts were futile. I returned to the palace in confusion. I waited for my fresh wounds to stop aching, and for the watchfulness of the surrounding monkey to fade like the mist on an autumn morning. But still, I had my doubts. Perhaps, I thought, I should discuss it openly with you. That monkey Achilles. There was something wrong about him. He kept disappearing at night, so one day I followed him. Achilles was contacting Marajai, using an artifact that transmitted his master's orders. That is how I learned that the burnt monkey was about to betray you. Which meant my only chance to discover the fate of my homeworld was about to slip through my fingers. I could not wait any longer. I killed Archilius, took the artifact, and demanded answers from Marajai. He hinted at where I could go to look for the truth. You know Why what would you ask next. if she killed him when this has just been answered? Alas, my cousin fell out of favor with the Archon. But even so, I doubt Marajai would reveal the truth. Marajai, that's how you pronounce it. At least his dark soul was suffused with Apparently. my suffering. Nor I you. To repair the fragile shards once was, one must plunge into the deep waters of fear. You came back from the dark, Ellen Tark? Unharmed. I was meant to share your fate, Ellen Tark, and vanish in the dark city's rotting underbelly. But the Fleshmaster gave a different order. His twisted mind was beset by a question. Could a child of Asurion be saved from the gaze of she who thirsts with intense re-education? By replacing the influence of my spirit stone with the heady tang of pain that nourishes the followers of the dark ways? I donned the executioner's mantle. They allowed me to keep my spirit stone in exchange for the suffering of others. I survived, prayed for Asurian's mercy, and hoped to escape before the stone cracked under the torrent of pain and terror assaulting my soul, before the experiment was complete. Kamora. This city grinds down the will of the strong and torments any who get tangled in its dark web. The fools are the first to die, and the shrewd perish regardless. I have never been here before, but few children of Assyrian manage to escape the Dark City without surrendering a part of their soul. So what is it that you wish to know? An ancient and powerful Drukhari named Estrubael Vect. Who's the ruler? The supreme overlord of the Cabal of the Black Heart, who reigns over all of the Drakari with an iron fist. My dark kin consider him to be a living god. Much like your emperor on the Golden Throne, Fact sits upon a throne of darkness and suffering that keeps Kamora's disparate clans from disintegrating. I would not want to meet him if I were you, Elantark. There are no other cities, Elantark. The Dark City has no bounds. It is a tangle of countless nightmare domains subject to a single ruler. An endless amalgamation of ever-changing and immutable dimensions. You cannot grasp its tenebrous grandeur, for even my life will not be long enough to visit all corners of the Dark City and the realms that border it. But. It hardly matters where you go, for death lurks on every corner. The dark city is pierced by millions of spires, and a webway gate may be hidden in any of them. It is the only way out of this place, and an impassable obstacle to any who do not know how to operate it. I know, 
and will help you should you so desire. But do I have the answers that you seek? How My are body you? Has already healed. The wounds of the soul will heal one day too. For suffering is a part of our life, not unlike love and fear and the desire to learn. The paths help the children of Asurion to endure any spiritual upheaval. And you, Ellen Tark, did not allow me to stray from mine. For this, I am grateful. And yet, neither rest nor healing solves, or even our reconciliation, can soothe the savage turmoil in my soul, Ellen Tark. Kruderak is lost. And the bud of truth never opened before me. What happened to my kinsmen? What happened to my world? And why did the dark cousin tell me less than he knew? Just to annoy you, obviously. Helen Tark. I promised that I would no longer hide my worries behind an icy wall of pride and doubt. And so I want to explain myself. But... Are you willing to hear me out? Not Go here. on then, let's hear. The words of my truth are intended only for your ears, Ellen Tuck. Do, do, do. You deserve to know the truth. I understand how worthy I am in your eyes, and this may sound like a ridiculous excuse. I did not want to betray you, I only wish to learn the truth about... Kudarak's demise and to find my kin. And when I saw the shard of my world in your dwelling, the trophy mounted on the wall, I was beside myself with fear and rage. When my dark cousin whispered in my ear that he knew the answers to my questions, I made a mistake. I trusted my kin, and fearing that you might refuse me if you knew where I'd been getting my orders from, I simply asked you to direct your ship to a particular system. Did I trust Marazi? No, of course not. Thought he spoke in my kin's location to crush my soul, and he wanted to go there and find only death instead of them. But hope, hope for the better, prevailed over my faith in you. Filled with hope, I thought, never even crossed my mind that this single thread forever slipping from my grasp would lead us to the very heart of the dark city. I already told you that I know nothing about the shard. That trophy belonged to Theodora, my predecessor. There is indisputable truth to your words. You should realize soon that you're worthy of more than what I offered you. Time is spent with you, our conversations. The glow of your soul that only I can see. Yes, with faith with you, I... I... No, I might have to acknowledge someone... I might have to acknowledge that a monkey is not a primitive. How terrible. <laughs> I've shown great compassion by accepting me and forgiving my deed. I do not know if I would have been able to do the same. My soul is crushed, lost to Kudarak, the horrors of Komara. Hari's attempts to re-educate me, I've fully paid the price, I've lost my path and can no longer meditate. Unable to meditate? How can that happen? I do not know. Ha! <laughs> I wish I could embrace you in comfort, but you cannot bear human touch. I think that's probably the romance path. Everyone gets what they deserve. Uh... Sounds five sounds a bit cold and four sounds a bit too warm. <laughs> I'm trapped between these two choices. 
Oh well, I suppose if you can choose two things, choose the nicer one. Okay, now what are we doing? Abelard's there. I'll talk to him in a second. Oh, the Elite Chainsword. Another one. Luck Thickener. Interesting. If only one of the wearer's combat tactics area is, if, is active in combat, the wearer gains 20 intelligence and fellowship. Oh, a bolter. The old sister of bolting things will be very pleased to see that. Okay, where is it? Oh, the bolter went to cargo. And I can't get it back. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, whatever. Even though it should be impossible for anything to go to cargo right now. Lord Captain, I serve at your pleasure. I fear, Lord Captain, that without the intervention of an experienced rejuvenate adept, I will not be able to overcome this frailty on my own. Blessed throne, it is hard to be a helpless old man. I always hoped I would die long before the day my back and hands gave out. <laughs> and look at me now. Oh, I succeeded. I... I have not seen her, Lord Captain. But there are times, there are times when I think I hear her laughing in the distance, or, or I sense hands touching me, as she used to do, to distract me from my sorrowful ruminations. But I know the difference between reality and fantasy. Now I fear I shall simply have to learn to live with this ghost that appears only to me with this vision of the past. I am sorry to say I do not. If we had our ship and crew at our disposal, we could be safely within its walls, conduct reconnaissance of this place, and in the end, meet our deaths in battle against the Xenus, as befits true servants of the God Emperor. However, we are deprived of our usual resources. Now we can only rely on our weapons and our wits. No, Lord Captain. And trust me, I hope to remain in this state of blissful ignorance until my dying day. Just knowing that this... this abyss exists at all is enough to poison my mind. It is possible. The Xenos Erliot could tell you something about this place. Erliot! That's After how it's all, pronounced. She is in some way related to its denizens. And she is responsible for the fact that we are here at all. Future Fillet was not far away from earlier. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm going to say that that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.